I have to find a way out of here. Maybe I can commandeer Daddy's seahorse carriage. It's very fast. And I need to get to SpongeBob and Patrick as quickly as possible. What is up guys, Driver Through Joe here. Welcome back to our next playthrough video of the SpongeBob SquarePants movie PC game. Uh, we completed chapter three last week, and this week we're gonna do chapter four. In the next one, we'll see if we can get another chapter in this video. I'm not entirely sure about that. I'm not gonna know until I really see how long this one's gonna take to finish. But I've been enjoying this so far. You guys have been enjoying it. This is um, bringing back lots of memories, um, bringing back lots of memories for you guys. And for some of you who are, you know, new to this or, you know, this was a fun game to play. So I'm happy to introduce this to another audience. So this has been a lot of fun. So um, we're just gonna get right back into it. Um, Last chapter I didn't enjoy too much, but this one I'm really going to enjoy because I liked it. I don't know why, but it was cool. But anyway, we're going to continue. Chapter 4, Free Mindy. Alright, so, this one we play is Mindy now. As you can see, we are this lovely mermaid. Um, so again, like I said, this this game is, shows like almost like a different perspective of the movie, things that were going on that we didn't see in the movie. I always like to put them together. Um, these things aren't necessarily canon, but I like to pretend that they were. Um, just just for kind of fun. But anyway, here we are, we're Mindy, we gotta get her out of the castle, basically. And um, this one's pretty funny, I like it. So, uh, we wanna take a mirror out of the closet. Which, there it is. That's where I keep my clothes. Well, my shirts anyway. The one downer about being a mermaid is that I miss out on all the great shoe sales. That's okay, you can... Wow, this mirror is filthy. It's embarrassing. I mean, miss out on the shoe sales, you can... Well, I was going to say the Flying Dutchman wears a sock, but she's got, like, a tail. He doesn't... He, just, he has, like, a... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever you call it. Let's keep going. All right. I'll take this glue. It's a bottle of glue. It's a bottle of glue. Thank you, Mindy. I did not know it was a bottle of glue. I thought it was. Here we go. Out of my way. I need to get out of here to help my friends. I'm sorry, Princess Mindy. I was specifically instructed by the king not to let you leave until he returns. Also, one of you during my premiere the other day was saying how the characters are like all depressed in this game. Um, I forget which one it was, but it's if you talk to a lot of the NPCs in this game, they're just like, I don't know, <laughs> depressed. Like this guy seems down too. Anyway, let's keep going. You don't understand. If you don't let me out of here, someone could die. My father has a bit of a temper. I know. That's exactly why I'm not letting you out of my sight. I don't want to end up in that dungeon like that poor crown polisher. He threw the crown polisher in the dungeon? Yeah, he said. Now that there. I don't have a crown, what do I need you for? Why don't you go polish some bars and poop? To the dungeon he went. I ain't going out like that. Doesn't that sort of injustice make you mad? It's all relative. I mean to say, it could have been worse. Could have been me. Could still be me if you follow me. That is the wrong point of view if you ask me. It's a point of view that's kept me out of jail so far. <sighs> Should I keep continuing this conversation? Eh, why not? This you realize fun. that blindly obeying orders without thinking is a dangerous thing to do? Not as dangerous as blindly disobeying orders. It's got a point. Um, I'm just gonna do this because it's funny, but you'll see what happens this time. Quick! Go look out my window! Next There's time. a sea monster attacking the castle! What? A sea monster? Out of my way! I must protect the castle! Go. <laughs> she had the perfect opportunity. That wasn't very nice. You know what they say about the guppy that cried shark. Um. Alright. I have to go. I can't let you. No, I mean, I have to stop <laughs> talking to you. You're ruffling my scales. I'm sorry, Princess. I'm only doing my job. 
Ruffling my scales. I've never heard that one before. Anyway, watch this. Ah, that lets me in. And now we're gonna do this. I better not close that window now, or it'll get stuck shut. Someone's gonna get stuck shut. <laughs> we'll see. Fire! Fire! Quick! We have to leave the castle immediately! I'm not that gullible. We had the castle fireproofed by building it underwater. Ha! <laughs> Alright, here we go. Okay, I know you aren't going to believe this, but a major sea monster is outside my window. And he said something about your mother. My mother? Out of my way! For king, king and, and country, country and, and mommy. mommy. Well, this is embarrassing. I seem to be stuck. Mindy! Little help here. Mindy! I think I've been had. Should have just let her. Care of him. Now I need to get to Daddy Seahorse's carriage. He keeps it just outside the courtyard. Oh, yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about before. About the crown polish. Because remember the. Be uh, I, think, I think it was somewhere towards the beginning of the movie where the crown polisher was thrown in the dungeon when she was there and she freed the crown polisher. Well, we're kind of going to be doing something similar, but. I don't know. Anyway, um, we'll talk to these guys. Why not? Hello, faithful guard. Any news to report? Not much going on today. My buddy over there stubbed his toe twice. He won't stop moaning about it. Pretty dull day, huh? Except for the toe stubbing, yeah. I have to go. Imagine if he sprained his ankle. We'd never hear the end of it. How does he stub his toe when they're wearing those shoes? Hello, faithful guard. Any news to report? I, I stubbed my toe twice today. Same toe both times. I gotta say that doesn't feel good. Wow. So you stubbed your toe, huh? Nothing else to report? Twice. The same toe. I thought it really hurt the first time, but you know what? The second time made the first time seem like a mermaid shiatsu. I have to go. Same toe. Both times! Imagine the luck. Alright, shut your damn mouth. We don't want to go to the bedroom. We want to go to the... Mm, hold on. Okay. I know what I, I gotta do. We're gonna go into the library. You guys remember this from Chapter 2. Came in here with Plankton. The little jester is gone. But, we want this book. It's very important. The Dungeon Master's Handbook. And it's got a picture of a dragon on it. Alright, now we're gonna go into the dungeon. Where there's some, uh... Yeah, you'll see. <laughs> here we go, you got some real freaky stuff down here. Hi! Hello, princess! Wow, it smells so much better down here now than it did last week. The stench level is almost tolerable. Yep. The guards have stopped passing out and everything. What was it? You're probably better off not knowing. Let's just say, mold can crop up in the most unexpected and surprising places. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. I can't believe Daddy threw the crown polisher in the dungeon after all. Yeah, he was very upset. He had me put him in the worst cell. It has bad lighting, and its chi is all out of whack. I couldn't spend five minutes in there without losing it. When is he getting out? Well, your father said, never, not in a million billion years. I will see him rot for an eternity and another dozen eternities on top of that. So? Tuesday, probably. Tuesday, probably. Can I see the crown polisher, please? Sorry, princess. I can't let you by. The king wouldn't approve. I just want to talk to him. Nope, nope. I can't let you. Sorry. Ah, we'll keep How goes going. the dungeon running business? Oh, it's thriving. There's always someone to question. More throw into a cell or shackle. I just wish I was better at it. Don't be so hard on yourself. I think you run this dungeon just fine. Well, you know, they don't teach you this at school. If I had a book on it, I could do so much better. A book on running a dungeon, huh? Yeah, it could tell me what to do. 
Like, should I use the rack? Should I glower menacingly? Or give an evil laugh? <laughs> Stuff like that. Hmm. Sounds like it would be an interesting read. And we got the book, so... Look what I brought you. The Dungeon Master's Handbook. Wow! Thanks, Mindy. You're the greatest. Do you think I could get in to see the Crown Polisher now? Okay, okay. But just for a minute. And don't tell anyone I let you go back there. The first thing it says in this here book is never show your soft side. I promise. I'll tell everyone how scary and intimidating you are. Thanks, Princess. All right, let's click some of this stuff. That thing is scary. I think I'll leave that alone. You'll thank me later. Yeah, well, no shit. It's a stretching rack. It's just for looks, though. The jailer is a big teddy bear. As we've seen. Here he is, the crown polisher. Oh, dear. Daddy really did throw you in the dungeon. Poor little fella. Oh, oh, oh. Hi, princess. I think his voice is different in the movie, too. Kind of. I can't believe Daddy went behind my back and threw you in here. After promising me he wouldn't. I'm going to have to have a few words with him. N no, please don't. I know you mean well, but I think it just upsets him more. Re really, I'm okay here for a while. How are you passing the time in here? I, I count rats. It, it takes longer than you might think. I do miss my old job, though. Oh, what I wouldn't give for something to polish. Say, can you polish this mirror up for me? A mirror. Really? Can I? It's been so long since I've polished something, I'm starting to go into withdrawal. Here you go. Thanks. Problems. There you are. Polished as good as new. Thanks, little fella. All right. We're done here. Let's go upstairs. Now, um... Let's go outside first. We're gonna go talk to that useless person again, I think. Talk to these guys. I better let them stick to their duty. <laughs> duty. Haha. <laughs> Immature. Let's see, what's he got to say? Hi there, Dolly. Hi, Princess. How is everything on the farm? Everything is A okay. Thought I saw a sea louse a bit earlier. But it was probably just my imagination. Other than that, he's been quiet as a blending near a cuttlefish. That's an odd expression. Truer words were never spoken. So she was never a character in the movie. I don't think any of this was in the movie. Dolly, it wasn't. I need to borrow Daddy's seahorse. You didn't even hair. see this much now in the cast. Now what you to be doing that for, princess? I need to help my friends. I have to get to them quickly. Or maybe too late. I can't let you do that, princess. I'd get in trouble with the big man. Please? I promise to be very careful. I'm sorry, Princess. I can't do it. Where is a seahorse carriage anyway? It's outside the front gate. But the seahorses are in here, and I'm afraid I can't let you take them. I'd love to help you, Princess, but I can't. I'm gonna get going. Hitting the dusty trail, huh? Well, pleasant wanderings, Princess. All right, so we can't get the horses, obviously, so we gotta go play Cupid. You'll see what I mean. <laughs> what are you guys looking at? This guy was in the movie. Hi, any idea where Daddy went? Mindy, shouldn't you be in your room? I thought I heard the king say you were grounded. I was grounded, but then daddy called and said that I was free to go. Oh, that old softy. Yeah. Liar. Freeing your own daughter from imprisonment. He's quite the teddy bear. Right. Why are you still here? Shouldn't you be away with daddy? Well, I should. 
but I ask permission to stay here because I, um, want to, um, go see Dolly. Dolly? The ranch hand? Wait a second. Do you like her? Uh, maybe, but I'm too afraid to talk to her. Don't be afraid. Just go tell her how you feel. Any girl would be lucky to have you as an admirer. Do you really think so? Yeah. Now don't waste another minute. Go tell her how you feel. Okay, I will. But wait. What's wrong? I need to check how I look. I need a mirror. You have one I can borrow? I do have one somewhere. The mirror. Here's my mirror. Ah, que magnifique. How could I have doubted my own suavity? Thank you, princess. And now I must go. I have a date with destiny. Good luck. With eyes like mine, luck isn't necessary. Get the hell wow. out of here. That was a quick 180. Damn. <laughs> Just go. This dude takes forever. Alright, so now those those two nah, will be... I don't need to go there. Okay, I'm sorry, Mindy. I just wanted to look, okay? Sheesh. Alright. And uh, I think that wraps up this chapter once we go outside. I don't know if I'll do the second chapter in this video, because it'll be pretty long. And I love the next chapter, so I think I'm going to keep that a separate video. There they are. Oh, true love. I recognize it anywhere. I better leave them alone. Oh, wait, do I get the horses? Perfect! Now I can see SpongeBob and Patrick in no time! Another chapter in the books. Mindy has found our heroes just as they are about to enter the dreaded Great Trench, where dark and evil things lurk. They have lost their precious paddy mobile once again. Mindy senses their low morale and boosts their confidence by bestowing false mustaches made of seaweed upon them. With renewed vigor, they We're plunge men. headlong into the Great Trench, Yo! confident they can handle anything it throws their way. Alright guys, well that was chapter 4. Um, come back Wednesday, we'll be continuing on my favorite chapter out of the whole game, I think, in chapter 5. Things get kind of creepy, but I always love this chapter. And that's pretty much it, so like and subscribe, turn on the notification bell for each and every upload if you enjoyed. Um, make sure to check out my Twitter, that's the only social media I have right now, I'll have more. Of course, get the merch, I got the new shirts in, so go ahead and pick yourself up one. With that being said, see you guys next time, have a great day, see you Wednesday. We have to cross this plane to get to the other side of the trench. It looks pretty spooky, but I know we can do it. We just passed a hotel. Can't we stay there for a while? No, Patrick. We have to get to Shell City. We don't have much time left.